hello my family welcome again to direct tv2 bringing to you the truth welcome guys to this special episode of my video and today's video guys i am right here with the man of god by person of L prophet lovey elias and in today's video guys prophet lovey is going to be teaching us and inspiring us on how we can you know prophesy through discernment prophesy accurately like a prophet and how you can know the voice of god when god is talking to you guys so in today's video there's so much insight that you're going to be learning and i would like you to pay attention but before you go into the video guys if this is your first time in my channel please go ahead and just hit the like button and like today's video and if you have not yet subscribed to this channel please hit the subscribe button and subscribe and also do well to turn on your notifications so that i can be getting all of my videos guys and then let's watch the man of god prophet lovey elias and i'll be right back immediately after this video to share with you what has equally blessed me don't forget to like and subscribe please watch this discernment is the ability to identify god when he is hidden discernment is the difference between 99 percent truth and one percent lie discernment is the ability to find god where others cannot find him it is not something you use the deep call it unto what the deep if you have discernment, you are drawn to God. When you have discernment, you see God. You don't use it. It is not a tool. It is a spiritual consciousness. It is a spiritual awakening that the Holy Spirit brings into your spirit that those things that God has hidden for others, it has been revealed for you. That's what discernment is. What makes you prophetically sharp is not God speaking because God will speak anyway, but do men perceive? No. What makes you perceive is discernment. When God has spoken, Am I refined that I can capture his voice? And no, that is God. God just said this. That's what discernment is. That's what makes you hear God. Many of you can't even tell if it's my mind or if it is my thoughts. Only a carnal man can miss the voice of Jesus. A spiritual man can never. Let me prove to you that it's a spiritual thing. Jesus is on the boat. He gets to a certain part of town. A man possessed with devils. The demons run at the feet of Jesus and they shout, Jesus of Nazareth, what do you want with us? We know who you are. You are the son of the Most High God. Notice the apostles, it took them over many years to know who Jesus was. It took one second for demons to know that he was the Lord. Demons have more discernment than Christians because they are spiritual beings. Demons could look at Jesus and say, this is the Messiah. The high priests living in the temple praying 24-7, they were coming and asking, are you the one or should we wait for another? Wait, what? How does a demon not have doubts, but the man having doubts? Why? Because the man is trying to find God with the flesh, but God can only be found in spirit and in truth. So discernment is not something you use. Because demons did not use discernment. It was obvious to them who Jesus was. All right, my family, there you have it with a man of God by personal prophet Lovey Elias. I hope you are really inspired, guys, because in today's video, I learned so much, guys. And before I actually share what has blessed me in today's video, please I'd like to remind you guys if this is your first time in my channel, go ahead and just hit the subscribe button, subscribe to um, this channel. And if you have not liked today's video, please hit the like button and like today's video. And then the man of God, Prophet Lovey Elias, actually talked about the fact that through discernment we can hear the voice of God, and, and that's how you can actually prophesy accurately. Because if you are truly walking in the spirit, you should be able to know when God is telling you something or when God is, you know, giving you a word or saying something in your spirit. And Prophet Lovey actually says something about the fact that the only reason um, um, a Christian cannot hear the voice of God because he's a carnal Christian. There's no one Christian that's walking in the spirit that won't hear the voice of God. So guys, that's what blessed me and I'd like to see you guys in my next video. Bye.